feels leaner than the St. Louis. I'm still pretty darn good. Hey everybody, we're back with another episode of Carb Smashers. Tomorrow I'm going to be smoking some ribs. Today's a yard work day. That's why I look so handsome. I'm out here chopping down hostas and getting the yard ready for the winter. But tomorrow we're going to do some uh, hopefully excellent smoked keto ribs, or at least low carb, on my trusty dusty master belter. That cat so lovely scrubbed it clean. Just want to show you how it's loaded and everything. So to deal with the carb, uh, the, the master belt. It is a gravity feed charcoal, which means all your stuff goes in here, it builds up creosote, some people wipe it off, it don't bother me at all. Uh, just gotta knock all the old ember, all the old ones down. Tomorrow, we'll just stick our lighter in there, and uh, it'll start right up. We'll go over that tomorrow, but this thing is great because it runs on wood, it runs on charcoal, and it runs on a combination. So this is a split of oak I got in Michigan's Upper Peninsula. I got the bark off of it. It'll stick right down in there, nice and tight against the wall. And that's going to make good smoke throughout the cook. This is a piece of mulberry. It's got a little thin piece of bark. Shouldn't matter. It actually came off a tree right over there. We cut it down last year. It's been drying in the garage. Got a little hunk of hickory. Another hunk of hickory or two. You can also put wood down in there, and we'll do that tomorrow to get some extra smoke flavor. But I like the combination of the, the oak, the hickory, the charcoal, the mulberry. One thing about these, you never want to use a match light because you can taste it all through it, but it's a heavy bag. It's actually empty. I emptied into these containers, but we're going to use Kingsford uh, Professional. A lot of people prefer a lump. I've used both. I've, don't notice a whole lot of difference. When it burns down to this spot, let's get a little more chicken going. We'll be firing it up tomorrow. Talk to you then. Hey everybody, we're back again here at Carb Smashers. How's everybody out there today, huh? Tomorrow, we are going to be smoking some ribs on the Master Belt charcoal, gravity feed charcoal. We're going to have some oak in there. We're going to have some hickory and some mulberry wood with the charcoal briquettes. We're going to get a good smoke flavor. But I'm going to season these today and let them sit overnight. Three half slabs baby backs. Now, I'm not a normally a, I've never actually done baby backs, so we're going to go through this together. I'm more of a St. Louis guy, but last time I was at Costco, they had baby backs on sale. So, heck, I might be a baby back fan after this. Then I'll be singing, I want my baby back, baby, back. just like that stupid damn commercial. But today we're going to season them up. We're going to use a few different products here. We're going to use a, some Truvia brown sugar, give it a little sweetness. I'm going to do just a light little bit of seasoned salt, which has no carb. Oh, the Truvia on the carbs. I should say it has eight, but it has this seven that can come off this... Uh, Erythritol. I don't know if you could read that, but uh, zero calories, zero sugar. It's made from stevia. And I always thought it had zero net carbs. And I'm going to say one because I don't know how to take off the other uh, one gram, but I, I believe it's eight minus seven, so I, I got one. Got no carbs in our Montreal steak seasoning, which is one of my go tos. And then I got this other pork rub I use quite a bit. It also has no carbs and it has a lot of the same things as that. First ingredient is spices and then salt. So garlic powder, dehydrated onion, but we're going to add a little more garlic powder to it because I like garlic powder too. And we'll put a little coat of paprika on top. Maybe that'll give us some good color when we're building our bark. We're going to go to fast mode. I'm going to season these up real quick and Get them in the fridge till tomorrow. I'm gonna move you over where you can see what I'm doing and we're gonna go fast. We use a little mustard as a binder too, by the way. And uh, 
that was, I don't have that many hands and I don't have colored nails. So that was cat coming in. We're gonna get these wrapped up, get them in the fridge overnight. 15 hours from now, they're going on the smoker. Uh, 15, 20 hours, they'll be on the smoker going. See you in the morning. So yesterday we were here and I was showing you, I'm gonna try to show you here. Uh, we loaded up the hopper a bunch of wood and charcoal goodness there. Now we just gotta light her up. So I'm gonna latch that. Let me get down. Latch that down. This one I'm gonna try to light one of these bad boys up and get it going on one side. So we got it in here and it's going a little bit, pushing in a little farther and light the other end. Leave that open a little air get in there for a minute. Come around to the front. See these two slides right here on the master belt? These are what stop the oxygen from uh, getting into these the burn chamber. So if you uh, don't use all your charcoal, you can put these back in, shut the power off, and you won't waste everything you have in the hopper. See, we're going to be doing these on the top shelf. And we got a water pan below. So we're going to be doing our ribs up here. We got a little water pan going. Catch any grease that falls off and keep a little moisture in our chamber. I'm going to plug it in now and turn the temperature up. We're going to do a little bit of a burn. I'm going to get it up to four or 500 degrees. Let it settle back down to about 250 and we'll put our ribs back on. All right, so we got the power turned. Plug, we got, the, we got it powered. We got a cord plugged in. Now we got it turned on here. Say it's 57 degrees in there. We're gonna set our temp, say 480 for right now. We're gonna let this thing get up there and get good and hot and disinfect anything on the inside that might have been hanging around in there. But so my little starter block's going good. You see, I put a hunk of that mulberry and some hickory down in the ash bin. As the charcoal falls, it'll uh, ignite that, and we'll get a little more smoke out of the bottom chamber as well. But we're going to shut that down now that the flames are going good. Come around to the front side here. This comes with a, a little gauge here. It doesn't have actual degrees on it, and you can buy an aftermarket one and put one that has actual temperatures. But I've learned, if I'm smoking, I'm going to be about right there. But I use a I use an Inkbird aftermarket thermometer in there as well to monitor with. These will hook up to your phone directly, but I think they were built more for uh, Apple phones or iPhones over Android. I use the Inkbird, and that will tell me my temperatures that are going on, but it's not going to mess with my controls. Right now we're getting a lot of smoke. It's not what we're looking for. We're looking for a clearer say a blue smoke this is kind of coming out black right now because it's just firing up and then we're going pretty hot once it uh, calms down here we'll get the smoke we're looking for we don't I mean you might think this is gonna be good but over smoke like that it's just too much what are we up to now 482 for a minute or two and then we're going to uh, turn it down to 250 and let it let it level out and see where we're at turned it down to 250 it's still smoking a lot the way the thermostat works on these is when it's trying to gain temperature there's a little fan under the bottom and that's all it does is it turns on a little fan which creates more airflow and it uh heats up when you turn it up but it's down to 350 it's showing that's the thermostat that's under the grate down there I imagine up here it's a lot cooler since I've had it open. Yeah, we don't, it's not quite smoking out of those yet, but you can see some of the charcoals are hitting those, and eventually you'll get a hot one down there, and it'll start to smoke here in the next half hour, hour, and it'll give us a little more smoke, but we're going to get a lot of good smoke out of, out of our stuff inside too. So. so we got three half slabs that we seasoned up yesterday. Also, I'm doing the skin, the silver skin on the bottom. I don't know if they had them already off or what, but on a St. Louis, I can take a butter knife, 
get right under there and pull it right up. These, I tried and tried and tried, but it was off camera, but I couldn't get anything to come off, so maybe it doesn't have the silver skin like the uh, St. Louis does. I'm not really sure. All right, so the temperature's falling down. Good, I had it opened. It's down to 285. It's going to fall right on down. Get a uh, Inkbird probe up there on top. Probably put it right about here so I don't have to stand out here and look at this little monitor. I'll be able to watch it on my phone from my living room. So back inside the Carb Smasher's kitchen and I figured out what I'm going to do. I'm not going to use any trivia. I'm going to do my uh, apple cider vinegar spit, spritz with some Powerade. It's very sweet. It's a uh, zero sugar white cherry. So we got the Powerade. We got some Kroger apple cider vinegar and our spritz bottle so i'm gonna do about half and half and we'll spritz that every hour for about the next five to six hours till the bones are getting loose but not falling off hey everybody we're gonna spritz these ribs it's been about two hours now maybe two hours 15. time to uh spritz them again you've noticed the smoke's died down we're getting that nice thin smoke we look like Water pan's doing its job, keeping it moist. Ribs are looking pretty a couple hours in. We'll know they're done when we start seeing these bones poking out a little more and the meat will pull back. We'll start seeing those good bones coming out there a little bit. Apple cider vinegar. <laughs> With our zero carb sports drink. Get this down here and get them moist again. Ended up putting my uh, other thermometer right here to watch the temps on my phone. It just went down a little bit, but it's showing right now. Uh, it just dropped to 144 with me having it open, but it's been running about 210, 220. Uh, and uh, I'm going to let them go. Uh, I'll probably spritz them next hour, and then in two hours, I'll fire this back up, and we'll see what they're looking like in a couple hours. All right, so let's see what's going on now. It's about four hours in total. I spritzed at three. I showed you the spritz at two. We spritzed at one, two, and three. You've seen one, so get you right up in here. Give you a front row. Front row seat to what's going on in here. Oh, they're looking like good ribs now. They're not quite there yet, but they are looking good. I'm not seeing the bones coming back like we want, but. Another hour, maybe two, when we see these bones pulling nice and back. Good, and I'm starting to see the little tips coming out there. Be doing good. Alright, see you soon. Hey everybody, Doug back here at Carb Smashers. Uh, coming out here, we're going to put the sauce on some. And I think the two thinner slabs are done enough. I'm going to get those out of here, and the bigger one, I'm going to put some uh, g uh some of the sweet stuff. See, these are good, getting the bones exposed. This one's pretty meaty. I was kind of pulling on the bones. It's going to be good. They're going to have a good bite to them. This one's a little thinner. It's going to be good. I'm going to get some sauce on this one. This one here is really meaty, so it can handle a little longer. Hey everybody, Doug with Carb Smashers back here in the test kitchen. Uh, brought in the one, the one and a half slab. Uh, the other two are out there still cooking with some sauce on them. I just bought some more, an, another kind of uh, the G Hughes sugar-free barbecue sauce. They have a hickory. We've been buying the sweet and the sweet and the spicy. But this is going to come in just about like the others, I believe. 10, 10 calories. Uh, Two grams of carb in a serving. That's G Hughes 
uh, the hickory. Let's see what it tastes like. All right, so. Got it here. I want to see how these ribs look as we uh, pull them apart. They're cooled off a little bit now, or I can touch them. I just want to see how these bones react if they're, they're pulling apart at the bone. Really, that's not bad. It's kind of what I like. Uh, I don't want to be able to just pop that bone out, but let's see. How oh, it pulls off. Got good smoke color. And try some without the sauce. So the, it feels leaner than the St. Louis. I think I still like the St. Louis better. I think the piece of meat you get out is a little bigger and a little juicier than the baby bags, but it's still pretty darn good. Yeah, I like them all. Be right back with the other two slabs coming off here in a minute. All right, everybody, we're going to put a wrap on this episode of Carb Smashers. About to pull the last two off. I'm going to shut the grill down first. I know they're coming out. Uh, you stick the little slide down here, and there's a big one here, and all the air just got shut off. And I don't know how much we got left down there, but yeah, got a little bit down there. That'll shut down. Maybe the power button off, and just let her. Let it cool down for a while. I'll shut down here. Got a little bit of a bend to them. These are been uh, basted in the uh, sugar-free honey barbecue sauce from uh, G Hughes with the uh, 10 calories and uh, basically one one carb per tablespoon. Yeah, they got enough sauce on them already. Let's see what they uh, how they cut right in the bone. A lot of meat on this one. I'm not sure how tender it's going to be. Seems like it's cutting a little hard, but let's see, it doesn't always mean anything. Let's see what she tastes like. Hmm. It's pretty good, but I'm going to try a couple more bites and might be putting them out here for a little longer, but might not. Mm. Pretty juicy in the middle. I think they are done. Next time we do St. Louis ribs, I'm a little more experienced at those. See you next time on Carb Smashers.